on my honeymoon in 1945. There's no place on Earth with more magic and superstition than the Scottish Highlands. rational mind rebelled against the idea. I'd seem to have fallen through time. You're not Frank. No, madam, I'm not. <laughs> We've got a good distance to go tonight. We must do something about Jamie. I'm a nurse. <gasps> it doesn't hurt anymore. Why were you flogged? Captain Randall. <laughs> have you ever seen a man scourged, madam? It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. What do you think will happen to her if she falls into his hands again? If I was going to survive, I needed to forget the life I've had before. You have my name, my family, and in my body as well. Is it usual what it is between us when I touch you, when you lie with me? No, this isn't usual. It's different. We began planning our future, but somehow I knew my journey had just begun. There's gonna be a Jacobite rebellion. It's a war that you cannot win. I'm talking as if the future is already decided. What if we could stop it from happening? Change the future. That's madness, is it not? We have to try. We're talking about tens of thousands of lives. <laughs> but as a very prescient Scot once observed, the best laid schemes of mice and men. Charles Stuart has landed in Scotland and is gathering his army. We have thwarted him all we can, Claire. For Riker! For Riker! You promised me that if it came to this, you would go back through the stones, back home. You're carrying a child. Now you and the bear, you must go. I love you. Goodbye, Glenn. He survived. I have to go back. I found him. Clear! 